Has your body been overrun by rabies lately? After this brief public service announcement, you will be able to identify, avoid, and if necessary, take down this vicious virus. You will be able to protect yourself and your cellular family by being mauled and forced to replicate their foreign RNA. Yeah, let's get those viruses! Whoa there, little Jenny. First you have to learn about our special technique to dealing with this invasion. Rabies, as you very well may know, is a terribly dangerous and infectious virus. But with the skills, the know-how, and the elbow grease, it is possible to defend against and defeat this terrible threat. Let's do it! Our special technique is broken down into two simple steps, identification and elimination. Easy enough, right kids? The first step is identification. When you identify the threat, you know what it is, and knowing gives you the power to win the battle. The rabies virus is a rhabdovirus of the genus Lysavirus. As you can see here, it has a distinct bullet shape. Rabies is absorbed through the cell membrane, and then its capsid dissolves, unleashing its genome and ribonucleic proteins on your unsuspecting organelles. Rabies is a negative sense RNA virus. The initial RNA serves as a template for viral proteins, though in order to reproduce itself, it has to create positive strands as a template. In order to do this, it contains its own RNA-dependent RNA polymerase to create these copies. The first thing the virus does is create a copy of the mRNA of all five of its devious proteins. The first of this devilish group is the G protein. G protein is a surface protein which prevents you from getting assistance from your friendly neighborhood white blood cells. It doesn't let them use the antibodies they have to protect you by blocking them. The next dastardly villain is the M protein, which serves as the connection between the G protein and the nuclear capsid. Then, there's the N protein, which serves as a bodyguard for the G protein. Finally, the evil twins, the L protein and the P protein, serves as the RNA polymerase that spreads the disease. The mRNA that the virus makes uses the cell's own ribosome, your ribosomes, and creates copies of its insidious protein teams. Translation runs indefinitely, ignoring stop codons unlike a good citizen. The virus then assembles the pieces into new viruses, which then bud from the cell and infect its neighboring nerve cells. Here is a traumatization of how the proteins work together. It's a good thing you asked, little Jenny. Basically, a vaccine lets our immune system protect us better by giving us the ability to make antibodies that the viruses cannot block. We can then use those antibodies as weapons to protect ourselves against them. 
take these fiends down and survive the rabies infection. All right, let's get them! Oh, you get him, little Jenny. You, you get him. At a girl, Jenny. So now all of you out there know how to eliminate the rabies viral infection. So just remember to watch your back. Good luck and good night. Hey, where did little Jenny go? Huh? Oh! Oh my god! <laughs>